there are certain things that we will come across in cannabis that simply shouldn't be there. We find all sorts of real, real nasty bugs in cannabis. E. coli, enterobacteria, which is toilet water bacteria. Unfortunately, there have been reports of aspergillus contamination being harmful enough that it's actually ended lives out there. Hi, my name is Nate and I'm here with SC Laboratories. SC Laboratories is a cannabis-focused analytic testing laboratory. We specialize in testing cannabis for conditions of quality as well as for the safety of a sample. During certain seasons, we see up to 20% of the cannabis coming in for microbiome testing failing those screens, which means there is a huge portion of microbiome contaminated cannabis that is out there in the market. You wouldn't feel safe eating something unless you know it's been screened, that there's no E. coli or salmonella. It's the same thing with any sort of consumable. In California, there is very much of an absence of regulation. There is no safety testing, which is the primary role of a health department as it would apply to products and to businesses such as these. SC Labs is essentially taking the place of the health department. samples that come to the Southern California lab, first thing we do is snap a picture. We weigh out and catalog on a data sheet the sample. Uh, juicing happens over here where we're using methanol as a solvent and in dissolving the cannabinoids into the methanol, we're giving ourselves a solution by which we can test everything the HPLC, and we have a pair of GCs. These instruments are used for determining the potency, the cannabinoid profile of the samples that we bring into this lab. Most common type of safety test is the residual solvent test. We're looking for solvents that should have been adequately removed prior to that product being given to a patient. This would include butane hash oil products, the most common ones we see in Southern California. Wax, shatter, crumble. Unfortunately, cannabis isn't heavily regulated in California, and what we've got right here is a fairly open ability for growers to use adultering chemicals such as phospholode. Phospholode is what's referred to as a bud hardener. It's going to provide a bigger bud, uh, harder buds, and something that will be easier to sell in a store. However, phosphorus has been found to be fairly carcinogenic. Buds should be much more natural looking. If I had to bet one of these was phospholoaded, it would be that guy. And not something that you'd want to give to a patient. Even though most farmers know what they're doing and most farmers can keep avoidable carcinogens away from the end user, some of the chemicals that we find in our pesticide PGR test will be pyrethrium, spinosat. Spinosat is actually a snail killer. People have been known to use avid in their cannabis growing. Avid is known to heavily harm people. It's even put people in wheelchairs before. Now, what the patients coming in here are asking for is very specific components. The overall effectiveness that this medicine will have on our bodies and on our conditions is directly connected to the cannabinoid profile. Epilepsy patients make up a very large portion of a, a testing lab's business. They're looking for as much CBD and as little THC as possible. However, THC is not a bad chemical. Being a patient who uh, is coming from a anxiety and stress reduction background, I actually get benefit from THC and I get benefit from CBD. And a patient like myself, will actually get most benefit from a combination of both of those chemicals. The fact not only uh, that we exist, but that we have uh, the following that we do, it shows an interest in, uh, even though there isn't a regulating body, it shows an interest in the industry itself and wanting to self-regulate. This community is unique. We self-regulate. I mean, look at us. We promote testing. We go and pay a third-party service and we get it tested. Would people go to restaurants? Would people go to grocery stores? And would they take it upon themselves to pick up a fruit or vegetable or a steak and actually bringing that to a lab and having it tested? And if you think about it, that's what people are doing with cannabis.